How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, continuing on our interview series with another content creator within the Halo community here. We have Active. Active, why don't you say hello? What's going on guys? How you doing? You guys don't know Active. He's very well active on Twitch. He's actually a Twitch partner. He's actually partnering up a few times with actually Halo doing some uh, grassroots events as well. So yeah, if you guys want to check him out there or his YouTube channel as well, link will definitely be in the description down below. So Today's video, we want to talk a little bit at, with Active because he's actually very much like the aficionado when it comes to massive keyboard experience with Halo. So he's been grinding out the MCC. He's definitely played it a ton on pretty much just strictly mouse and keyboard, if I remember correctly, right? Yes, yes, that's yes. correct. Strictly mouse and keyboard, yeah. We'll go into where Halo can improve on the mouse and keyboard side of things. I do feel like control does certainly have an advantage, but where can mouse and keyboard step up right there? And also talk about a little bit of who Active is as a person as well. And then we'll jump into the Halo Infinite news, because I'm sure that's what a lot of people are very much interested in. So after the interview, Active, why don't you introduce yourself and, uh, you know, Talk about uh, a little bit what you have to offer for the Halo community. Uh, so my name is Tim Ferreira. Actually, I'm 32 years old. I'm a father of four children. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, I've been streaming for almost seven years now. We're coming on seven years in April. It will be seven years. April 24th actually is my my anniversary. Uh, I've been streaming full time and uh, with with most of the time under 100 viewers, which is which is pretty incredible. Supporting my kids and and just doing what I love. And that's kind of what my message is, you know, do what you love, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, I've watched your stuff on Twitch all the time. And you know, you are, I, pretty, I view you as like the keyboard and mouse guy when it comes to Halo. So if you're trying to get better at keyboard and mouse play on Halo, because right now on the MCC, I do feel like it's kind of an uphill grind when it comes to playing, <laughs> with, playing with that interface right now. But oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, you I view you as the guy to check out when it comes to mouse and keyboard play on Halo. So Thank I definitely you. want if you guys don't know, definitely would you want to check out his channel by, you know, because I'm sure you, you get some learn some interesting tips and tricks Thank when you. it comes to getting better, especially using the interface, because I do actually prefer playing on mouse and keyboard when it comes to playing games. Halo is the only game I actually like playing on controller because well, at least come for Everyone the MCC side that. thing. Yeah. I feel like oh, everybody just, says that it's insane. I know, it's, just, I, it's crazy. Yeah, like Call of Duty. I've been playing nothing but mouse and keyboard or just literally mm -hmm. every other game on mouse and keyboard. I'm totally fine buying Halo. I'm sticking with the controller on that one. Now, I'm not sure it's because of like the decades of experience I have using that interface or just Halo plays better on controller. I'm not totally sure on that one. Uh, so maybe we kind of segue us into our talk about, but talk, topic about how do you feel about the current state about mouse and keyboard use, especially with the MCC, and where can they possibly improve for Halo Infinite side of thing? Kevin, you got me all excited. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> <That's> um, <the laughs> idea. essentially, yeah, controller controller is is by far way better than keyboard and mouse right now on Halo, and that's purely because of aim assist. But also, there's a side side section to that too, where movement is really it's controller based. You know, if you notice mm -hmm. when you're when you're pressing ASD uh, uh, or you know on the keyboard, you're, you're you're moving slowly and then ramping up speed and that's just the way it goes because these games are based for controller and so movement's going to be a little wonky it is it is going to be a wonky but they they've done a great job of of solidifying you know the aim the aim feels great right now there is a slight bit of input lag there you can still kind of feel it but i, I think they did an amazing job in terms of converting you know a controller game that's been controller for decades to keyboard and mouse and i agree with you 100 percent. i think that some of it does have to do with just the experience on controller that we all have but i think a lot of it has to do with um halo is a game it's just different you know and i think that I mean, I put a lot of hours into this. I think I have over a thousand hours uh, on keyboard and mouse right now, probably more than that, I don't know. But you know, over time, as I've put practice into it, I've noticed that I've gotten used to everything. I've gotten used to the movement. I've gotten used to the aim. I've gotten used to using a BR with the mouse and keyboard. And I, and I feel like it, you know, it feels great, but here's my outlook on it. And we're, again, we're going to the, to the future here. We're, we're building for the future, right? My outlook on it is controller players do have an advantage right now, a very strong advantage. I'm sorry, that's just the truth of it all. And if I can play against them and compete, in hardcore, I'm a, I'm a rank 28 or something, 29, and I oh I only play with controller players. It's always mm. <laughs> seven controller players and then me. Especially since That's you can always see how now. it is. <laughs> Before yeah, you had to assume, exactly. but now you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, and of course, when a keyboard and mouse player comes up, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win this game, but I have to keep my title, you know. Uh, but um, but yeah, I mean, what the way I look at it, Kevin, is it's practice. 
we're you know I, I am getting the practice in with a slight handicap against these control players and if i can practice for for the next almost year and get good at keyboard and mouse on halo i think when infinite comes out i'll be ready especially being like what you said level 28 that's more like a a 50 plus rank i feel right now we've the current player pool oh, yeah. playing like halo 3 because you mainly play uh, Halo 3, I've noticed on your streams, but you do play other yes. games as well. Uh, actually, talking about yes. Master Keyboard, I do remember you actually used a Zim previously on an Xbox to play with Master Keyboard on Xbox. So how was yep. that difference between that little extra in a bit of interface right there? So the Zim, the Zim is really weird. I, I used it because there was no Halos that were on PC. I mean, there was Halo 1 and Halo 2, but they weren't really there. The player base wasn't there and the, you know, yeah. it just it was, you know, it's not official. So um, the Zim is it was a good little, you know, bridge to get to where I am now. And again, to, to work on muscle memory, because FPS is all about muscle memory. That's just literally mm -hmm. what it is. And I did have aim assist. And I used to have people tell me like, you're on aim assist right now. You understand that you're not going to have aim assist when MCC comes out. And I kept saying, yeah, I know. It's not about the aim assist. It's about the muscle memory that I'm building. And so it does have aim assist. There is a lot of input lag with a Zim. Um, it, it's it's pretty bad, actually. I, I don't think I could ever go back because if I could go back, I'd be playing Halo 5 with it right now. Yeah, you I, really I powered through that because you were pretty consistent on playing with that Zim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it was uh, a lot. I got a lot of hate for it, but it was in my head. Again, it's all about building. It's all about just preparing. And I was preparing for these games that came out and and now I'm preparing for Infinite. So it's all preparation. But yeah, the Zim's good. It's just it's there's aim assist and which which actually you think it helps you, but it doesn't. It's actually bad for a mouse keyboard player. Um, really? And then there was input lag too. Yeah, aim assist isn't good because it, it affects where you pull and it, and it, and it basically controls your mouse. You, there's no smooth tracking. It's it's kind of janky. So yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because I've always wondered like, what if they just add just like a smidge of like you know aim assist you know, on the PC just <laughs> just, just a little bit just to make it so like yeah I can, I can track better because it just like the snap accuracy I, I feel on mouse and keyboard works really well with Halo, but trying to like, be consistent with your shot is what makes it difficult with how the players move and the different yeah. sensitivities that you need to play Halo effectively. I've always felt like it's been right. kind of difficult to work through, work out. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the hours I put, it's so many hours, man. And, and yeah, at, at the beginning, I was awful. And, and everyone was making fun of me. And, and as time went on, I just got better and better and better. And now, you know, I'm learning all the ins and outs of it. And I hope to be able to help people in the future um, be on mouse and keyboard and be able to do it efficiently. You know, um, like Halo 3, for instance, one tip is it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of smoothing, which is, you know, there's a ho whole bunch of different factors to to, you know, mouse and keyboard. But smoothing is one of them. Tracking is one of them, but also smoothing and, and just how smooth you're able to to track is what smoothing is essentially mm -hmm. and you know um when you're when you're playing halo 3 you have to lead the shot so your smoothing has to be you know pinpoint accurate you have to be able to very you know i i still don't have it down so it's just a lot of practice a lot of hours and I'm i mean ready. because there's so I'm, many balances you have like mouse acceleration if you want to work with that or smoothing sensitivity yeah. mouse dpi they're just like literally like five different settings with a million different combinations you can throw together and try to find just the exact right one can be a little tricky. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, I definitely, I, I don't, for, for me, I'm completely raw input. I don't use a mouse smoothing, mouse excel or anything like that. Um, I'm just pure. I think I'm, I'm 400 DPI right now, 1.5 sensitivity. So I have my entire desk to use as a mouse pad. That's so nice. Yeah, see, that's I, mine's yeah. is about literally about that big about play well I remember about that big of a play area that i have so it's not like yeah. as much space i can't use my entire i'm plus i'm also i've just from like the years of playing battlefield on pc i've come more just accustomed with a smaller even a smaller mouse pad to just kind of yeah, yeah. kind of more like plant my wrist and then kind of play from there i know it might not be the a best lot, way yeah. to play but i know a lot of people no, like to do that technique as well oh, oh yeah a lot mm -hmm. of people it's all it's a wide range yeah, everyone uses it's like they always say with sensitivity, it's personal preference. So yeah, that's pretty incredible, man. You'll be able to pull this off and make it work for you. Uh, and I know actually your your pinned tweet on your Twitter account talks about you and your experience of going full time with uh, content creation here. So maybe you want right. to dive a little bit into exactly how that kind of has played out for you. Absolutely. So, so we're going on like about seven years ago, I quit a uh, job that was paying me $30 an hour, which is a good chunk of money. 
Um, it was a place called General Dynamics. They make submarines for for the U.S. Navy. Oh well, that's and cool. <laughs> I, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it was a pretty cool job when I started. But you know, I, I I over the years I was there for I think three years. Over the years, I, I was talking to many of the vets there that have been there for 30, 40 plus years, and they're constantly talking about how you know they wish they would have done something else. They wish they wouldn't have been stuck in this you know this rut, and they you know some of them wanted to be a singer, and some of them wanted to do this, and some of them wanted to do that. And ever since I was a kid, I've always been a dream. And, you know, you got to have the dreamers and you got to have the realists. You got to have that balance. And I'm the dreamer side of things. And, um, you know, I <laughs> I was watching a Maximus Black stream. He's a League of Legends streamer one night. And I realized I, I basically said to myself, long story short, I can do this. Mm -hmm. So I put aside some money. I set up a little business plan. I spent my lunch, lunch breaks, you know, writing things down, doing a lot of research. And then um, I was playing League of Legends when I started streaming, which is kind of interesting to know. But uh, I, I posted on a forum and that forum um, was basically me saying I'm quitting my $30 an hour job to stream full time on Twitch. I didn't have partner. There was no affiliate there. There was nothing. Nothing of that sort was there. Um, and I said, I'm going to go for this. So I ended up getting about 700 followers in, a, in just under seven days. Oh, and wow. I blew up yeah. off that post. Y yeah. Um, and, and you know, it was a lot of, you can see the pinned tweet. There was a lot of hate, a lot of people telling me like, you're an idiot. Like you have kids at the time. I think I only had two kids. Um, you have kids like, what are you doing? Like, why would you do such a thing? Blah, 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 blah. You know, I started this whole thing to show people that no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult chasing your dream or doing what you love is, you can do what you love for a living. If you just put the work in and you strive and you just don't stop and that's why I'm here today. I have a great community that supports me and it's been a journey, man. Um, it's been a journey, but I've always been a Halo fan. I competed in Halo back in the day uh, and, you know, I, I love Halo. Uh, League of Legends was just kind of like one of those things at that time to kind of I, I got into. Okay. Yeah, go Especially during that time frame, like League of Legends was like the rage. You know, it oh, was yeah, absolutely. As yeah. popular as Battle Royale is now, pretty much. Now it's just one game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. You kind of just kind of, you know, Put all your eggs in one basket and live in the dream kind of thing you know i know a lot of people out there you know view like want to be able to do content creation streaming full time and have it be your job is kind of like a dream come true kind of situation really absolutely i'm very lucky like i said my community carries me pretty hard um right now and obviously we haven't had a halo game in in over over five years it's gonna be six years so yeah. um you know it's it's a little difficult but you know and i'm sure you know as a content creator it's it's hard but you know i really think that you know this this kind of ties into my story like that that it's it's difficult and that you know halo's kind of you know eh right now but you know you just stick with it and you you get through it and we're gonna have some amazing things next year and i'm i'm excited for it honestly and honestly just like that a year delay for halo infinite actually kind of might work out better in our favor as we might have a chance to grow our platforms a little bit more to where when the game finally comes out we have a you know much more but I won't say I won't say a voice, but a greater hold of the audience when it comes to the game's release, and you know, have a chance for a better success for us. I love Kevin. I love your way of thinking <laughs> because it's exactly that's exactly how I'm thinking about it. Because honestly, we have they they said they're going to start in January. They're going to start with some content in January. They're going to push out the you know giving us news and stuff like that in January. So we have from January all the way until essentially, from what I understand, November 15th from the Bonnie Ross tweet that says mm -hmm. you know the anniversary, blah blah. blah. We have till November 15th to build our content on new content that that no one really is involved in. And we're going to be able to build our platform and prepare. And I love that, honestly. Yeah. I love it. Talking about that also as well. So he's like, so you mentioned on Twitch, you're very much pro very prominent on Twitch. But you actually do have a YouTube channel as well. And you've kind of been kind of starting to grow that out a little bit better. But see, you kind of get a little more active on the channel. So maybe you want to kind of talk a little bit about what can people expect for the uh, the YouTube content side of things. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so I, I just got into YouTube. I'm really, I'm not as good as Kevin at YouTube. I'm really <laughs> bad at YouTube. But I just got into it and I, I'm, I'm trying to put videos out. I actually have a guy who's, his name is The Venqua, who's actually editing videos for me for free now, which is incredible. I'm uh, Like I said, I'm blessed. <laughs> uh, I'm blessed. I'm absolutely blessed. And he's really good. And so I'm pumping out content now like you know with, with four kids it's, it's hard but oh yeah uh, i'm pumping out content and and um when when infinite comes out i'm gonna hope to do some like instructional videos like teaching people that are maybe coming from other games other platforms how to play halo and how to play it efficiently especially on keyboard and mouse because that's kind of what i do and and that's going to kind of be what my my channel is going to be about you know what i mean i'm going to try to cover the instructional video type 
section of YouTube for that. But you mentioned about uh, building towards the future, right? So we're just kind of maybe segue into Halo Infinite now that we have the recent news drop of Halo Infinite. We've had a chance to see yeah. a little bit of multiplayer with like a couple screenshots here and there. Mm -hmm. And so with your experience right now with mouse and keyboard and the of the MCC, how do you feel 343 could help uh, improve that mouse and keyboard experience? I, I think they need to balance it the best they can with controller. I know that many games have this issue with keyboard and mouse versus controller. And I know that, you know, that's going to be a thing in Halo Infinite and they're going to have to dial it back. But I know for sure, I'm almost positive in this. I'm almost certain in this. They're going to dial it back from where it is right now. I mean, this is this games. These games are made for console. The, the BR is literally glue to the Spartan. It, the, it doesn't move when you're playing controller. It just doesn't. Yeah. Uh, I played controller and I was like, what the heck? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> so so if they dial that down and just literally balance it enough to where, you know, I want controllers to still have aim assist. You have to have aim assist as a control player. It's just you have to. Yeah. So if they just dial it down a little bit. And then, like I said about the ADS, the ASD movements, like making the movements smoother. Uh, for keyboard and mouse players i think that will be absolutely fine and then obviously input lag will not be a factor i don't think because you know they built the engine and stuff so i i have full faith in them on that but yeah th those are the only things i think that they need to improve in terms of mouse and keyboard i feel like it's more than just aim assist though when it comes to mouse keyboard controls i feel like it also comes down to player movement and also maybe oh, yeah. character size as well when it comes in environments and stuff like that and ranges you fight against where I agree, yeah. It's more than just like a little number you need to tweak. It's like the in game is how the game is fundamentally built on. So maybe you Agreed. think maybe like yeah. if the player movement maybe is a little bit slower, you think that might help out? Or is it really just strictly just like the aim assist on control, just tone that down a little bit? I agree with what you just said. I think it, there's a lot of factors involved. And uh, unfortunately, to be honest with you, I don't know like the exact factors involved with it. I don't know uh, exactly what needs to change. I think that maybe, you know, the strafe speed, like you said, like you had mentioned, has to be tweaked as well. But I don't know it's it's hard because you have to tweak it for controller players to make controller players you know be able to compete and also not set the skill ceiling too high and also make it so that keyboard and mouse players can also you know not not have an entirely high skill ceiling but not have too low of a skill ceiling so it's it's definitely a hard balance i think or we could just make it terrible for everyone and no one can hit their shots <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly i'm all about skill ceilings i i, I want the highest skill ceiling for this game because i want to be able to play it like for a long amount of time i mean they're talking about 10 years here you know yeah. with halo infinite so play it for a long amount of time and just get better and better and better and better and then you know once someone's got like three years and you can tell they have three years in like you know like halo 2 for instance you knew like when someone had a lot of hours into that game where opposed oh, yeah. to someone who just had, you know, you know, you just knew. I, that's what I loved about it. I loved that fact about oh, Halo 2. When you but. just see a guy walking towards you and you're just like, dead, and you're like, okay, that guy knows how the BXR. <laughs> yeah. You're like, and you're I, like, I, like, and you lose like half, three fourths of your shield within like one shot. You're like, this guy's double shine like a madman. Yeah. Here. You know, <laughs> the glitches made it so cool. Like they made it so like the skills that I loved. I loved it, man. I know a lot of people were not about glitches. We've got different eras of or different you know community sides here you know one's the casual one's the more hardcore competitive me as a hardcore competitive player i i loved the double shot i loved the bxr and i mean i'll never forget there was one moment where i was playing a free for all with killer n he used to be a you know a big halo guy back in the day and uh this is like my first game with him and i remember i chased him p1 on midship and i chased him through like where plasmas are with a little shotgun is p1 mm -hmm. and he literally jumped up in the air did a 180 bxr'd me in the face and i jumped out of my chair i was young i jumped out of my chair i was like holy crap like it was so cool it's the coolest thing that's ever happened to me i'll never forget it ever yeah that's one time you know you got true respect you're like you're not even mad you just died instantly you're like that was good yeah i tip yeah. my hat to you on that one right there exactly <laughs> so we actually had a little bit of a tease when it comes to the halo infinite's multiplayer side of things at least we got a couple of screenshots of the map and some player customization as well and from yeah. what we've seen, at least just like the map design, for the most part, it seems kind of more traditional Halo style. Uh, you know, not too open like the what like we've seen with Halo Five with like the, the ability of sprinting. And so maybe also, or just kind of like the Halo update in general. Like, how do you feel about what we got for? the Halo Infinite update that we recently received. I, I loved it. I, I think that you're right. They were going towards like a classic style of maps of the symmetrical maps. I like that map looks really good so far. And I think, I, you know, we only saw a little small section of it, but I, I love, I think that map looks great so far. Um, in terms of like uh, the size of the map, we'll have to see what it, what it comes down to it. But the thing I love about um, 
343 building their own engine is that where you know they can do anything they want with anything you know the remove sprint from the game types they can add sprint you know remove sprint from mlg add sprint whatever they want to do they can you know customize it to fit that um in terms of the armor and stuff i think the armor was incredible there is the uh i forgot the name of it the the armor you watchdog armor that you get mm. for sr 152 and halo 5 I'm a little bit sad that I can't get that. I can't use a controller. It hurts my hands, actually. Really? I have carpal tunnel really bad. Yeah, oh, okay. so if I hold a controller f for more than like 30 minutes, I'm not going to sleep that night. So, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can't use a controller, but I can use a mouse keyboard. It's really weird, mm -hmm. but um, but but I can't play, so I can't get that 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 coding. So I'm a little bit sad about that, but there'll be many more, hopefully. And, and you know, but I love the update overall. It was great, honestly. I yeah. loved it. And like, yeah, I was like, I agreed like that. Our watchdog armor coating does look really awesome but honestly from what i've seen from besides like that chips ahoy granular coating that we saw you know a while back that looked like some like five-year-olds like paint job nightmare right there but like other than that everything else looks pretty awesome and uh yeah because this might be like the best art style thing i've ever seen in a halo game and being i able agree. to see that yeah like the master chief is like this is hands down to me like the best looking master chief we've ever had in a halo yeah. game and uh they did Go ahead. They, there was a side by side. There was a side by side comparison on Twitter showing Halo Five to Halo Infinite and just the different, the, like the way it looks, and it's insane. Like it looks mm -hmm. so good. It looks. I'm so excited, man. Oh, yeah. I, it, it, it blows my mind that we have to wait <laughs> to, to fall. Like, oh, yeah. It hasn't set in yet. You know what I mean? It's not there yet, but yeah, it, it's like <sighs> it, it was. It was actually kind of like freaking me out a little bit. It was like, like. Like earlier in 2020, I'm like, what am I gonna do when like Halo Infinite releases? There's gonna be like, I'm so used to having these little tidbits of news and you know things to talk about. They're like, that's what you talk about because yeah. that's all we have, you know, at the moment. Right. When the game finally yeah. drops, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna have like in like indecision, <laughs> like I'm gonna freeze in indecision because I'm like, there are gonna be so many things to do and talk about. Like I don't know where to go. You know, yeah, I mean, that's another thing, too, like another building process like this is this is, you know, your creativity as a as a full time YouTuber, like your creativity is going to be like through the roof when Infinite comes out, because right now you're scrapping for stuff like you're scrapping and you're being very creative with this interview stuff and all that. That's like, we, like, great, great ideas. So when Infinite comes, you're going to have like millions of ideas and you're just going to be able to write them all down in a notebook and you're going to be good for like two years. Straight, I, don't know, you know? I don't know if you're like a fan of The Simpsons, but this one th scene always comes to mind is like this one scene where Mr. Burns goes in for a health check and they go oh my god you have every disease and he's like <laughs> he's like how come I'm not sick and he's like well he shows like a little display of like a like a little doorway and he has like a bunch of like squeezy toy like germs he's like this is what this is this is like your immune system this is what all the germs are doing they're all trying to get in at once and they can't get through <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, so I'm invincible. He's like, well, no, a burst That's of wind funny. can kill you or something like that. But he's like, I'm oh, invincible. Yeah, That's why I feel like That's my ideas funny. are going to be. It's going to be like a bunch of ideas <laughs> trying to go through the doorway and they're just going to get stuck. And I'm just going to like, I don't know what to do. But I, I, you know, I've always found like, at least like with content creation, like it's just kind of come to me exactly what I should be talking about. And so I'm just yeah. kind of relying on my instincts on that one. But until then, we just kind of think, you know, wait for more development updates. Like we talked about, like saying like there's going to be, you know, more info coming throughout the year as well. Kind of, they said restarting the hype train after the holidays awesome. as well. So hopefully we get like these monthly updates like we have with MCC. Yes. That would be perfect. Be awesome. Absolutely. Perfect. Oh, yeah. But yeah. So I think that might be kind of wrapping it up for the interview here. I, Mr. Active, um, if you guys want to check him out, Active, here's the platform. Shout out your platforms and different ways to come check out your content. Oh, oh I re all right. I really appreciate that. So uh, I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv slash active E. And I'm also on YouTube, youtube.com slash active E TV. Um, I, I stream every single weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern and I upload. I'm trying to upload three times a week. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, but but yeah, that's those are my those are my platforms. And, uh, you know, you guys don't have to come by. But if you do, I really appreciate it. That's yeah. awesome. Links to all this stuff will be in the description down below, guys. I highly suggest checking out. I, like I said, I've been coming by his streams quite often. Super positive energy. That's why one thing also I'll just love about your streams is just super happy, just really positive energy. Like even I've even seen like on your bad days. 
Like you still yes, like no, this is, you're like I'm still having a good time. Like it, you know, stay positive kind of thing. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try. I, like, I, I totally understand. You know, because sometimes you know, gaming, especially doing the more hardcore side of things, of like you know, playing rank that you have like you know a losing streak that would make anybody yeah. a, little, a little tilted. And you're like, hey man, yes, I'm still playing Halo. It's still a good day. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, yes. man. I'm, I'm living my dream, which is uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be doing that. So yeah. So active, thank you much for coming by on the channel, man. And thank guys, you. again, check out the description below. Look, check, look, click on his links. I guarantee you'll enjoy his content. So thank you so much for Sub watching. to Kevin. Yeah, do that too while you're at it. <laughs> sub to everybody. <laughs> Everyone gets a sub. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Bye, guys.